We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus on this precious day. It is a brand new day. It's a brand new week. God is good and God is seated on the throne. Victory belongs to Jesus. My dear friend, wherever you are, know that God is in charge and the battle belongs to the Lord. The battle belongs to to the Lord and therefore our victory is guaranteed it is so good to enjoy times in the presence of God it is so good to be alive in this day and age when the kingdom of heaven is at hand Jesus has made a way for us so that we can be saved so that we can be born again so that we can press in and genuinely connect to God receive our freedom, receive our deliverance, receive our blessing. And it's all afforded to us through the full and finished work of the cross. And we are grateful. My dear friend, I tell you, in Christ, there is nothing impossible for you. For the Bible says all things are possible for those who believe. God can do great things through you, in you, and for you. Now, we don't only seek God for what He can do for us, but it's good to know that we have the greatest being in all eternity with us. As the Bible says, greater is He that is within you than he that's in the world. And if God be for us, Who can be against us? As you know, my dear friend, today is Monday, and on Monday I share the Monday prophetic word. I've got a word for you, and I know it will bless you. Now, as we begin, let us welcome the Holy Spirit, and then I'll share this word with you. In your own words, wherever you are, just begin to welcome the Holy Spirit in that place. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come and speak to us today. Come and teach us today. Take over control. Lead us closer to Jesus. Convict us in the areas where we need to change. And help us to go to greater glories. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my dear friend, as I was seeking the Lord, this is the word that I received to share. It's time to raise the standard. It's a call for a greater degree of excellence in the area of your calling. With God's direction comes God's backing and God's divine enablement. I'll say that once again. With God's direction comes God's backing and God's divine enablement. Receive anointing for a greater glory and a fresh touch even in this season. The grace of God is sufficient and God is with you. Go forward and make a massive impact for the Lord. As I received this word, the Lord led me to three scriptures that I want to share with you. The first one is from the book of Romans chapter 8 from verse 31. It says, What? Then, shall we say in response to these things, If God is for us, who can be against us? I'll read that latter part once again. If God is for us, who can be against us? My dear friend, in this season, you may have faced people who have come up to you and they are jealous of you because of the grace that God has placed on your life because of what God is doing through you. They might be jealous for various different reasons. Sometimes you might not even be aware what's wrong and why they are jealous. And they might be fighting you, trying to resist you. But the Bible says if God is for us, who can be against us? We need to remember 
At the end of the day, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So other people around us, though they may position themselves in a certain way, they are not the enemy. The real enemy is the devil and his cohorts. And if God is for us, who can be against us? The next scripture I want to read to you is from the book of Daniel chapter 6 from verse 3. It says, Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes, because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. My dear friend, when God gives you the grace for excellence, it will come with great promotion. So even in this time and this period, pray and say, Father, I receive the grace for excellence. The last but not the least scripture I want to read to you is from the book of Colossians chapter 3 from verse 23. It says, And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, as to the Lord, and not unto men. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, as to the Lord, and not unto men. So whatever you do, do it for Jesus. Wherever you go, lift up Jesus in the way you do things. In saying that, let us go to a time of prayer. We're going to begin to thank and praise God. And as we discern His presence, then we'll begin to pray. And I trust, know, and believe God is going to do something amazing. So in saying that, let us begin. Father, thank you for another day that you've given us, another week. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you that you don't leave us helpless. And you're fighting for us. You're fighting for my dear friend who's watching this video even today. And even today, your grace is sufficient. Even in this season, you are making a way. And you give us victory. You give us grace to press on. And we give you praise. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you that you make a way for us. Where would we be without you? Where would we go without you? What would we do without you? Your presence is heaven to us. And we are grateful for Jesus Christ who made a way for us. To be saved, to be born again, to be reconciled back to you. We are forever grateful, and we thank you. Thank you, Father, even today. In Jesus' name, amen. My dear friend, now I want to pray for you in line with this prophetic word. As we begin, I want to encourage you connect in faith. There is so much power in agreement, and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray that you will give the grace to my dear friend to raise the standard even in this time period. I pray that you will give my dear friend the grace to walk in a greater degree of excellence, especially in the area of their calling. Father, I pray that your divine backing and divine enablement will enable my dear friend to do what needs to be done in this season and give my dear friend a fresh anointing and a fresh touch for a greater glory and a greater level and even through your grace do great things open doors of blessing open new opportunities make a way where there seems to be no way I ask this in Jesus name Amen and Amen. God bless you, my dear friend. Thank you for tuning in. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, Shalom and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.